So why it's important to have fun during your auditions, which may be kind of obvious, right? It's like, and as I am, as I am making this video about having fun, my dogs are having fun and I'm having fun playing with them. If they'll let me as I'm making this video, go get it. Okay. Dogs have fun, actors have fun. So before I got distracted by the fun, what I was saying was that it may seem obvious, right? Like if you're a professional skier, if you're a professional chef, if you're a, you know, you manage a, a, a trust fund, you wanna have fun, right? Who doesn't wanna have fun? But for the actor, it's extremely important you have fun during your auditions maybe more so than other gigs. I, I don't know. But when it comes to auditioning, if we bring common sense into play and we bring truth into play, meaning using common sense to look at the truth of what's actually happening in my auditions, I think if most actors look at what's happening in their auditions, they're not having fun. They imagine having fun when they get the parts, being on set, getting to do what they love, but the audition, whew, that's tense, that's neurotic inducing because they gotta get it right. Most actors look at the audition as some kind of calculus problem that needs to be solved. There is a right way to do it. There is something they want to see. And if I just do the right thing, I'll book the part and then I can let it rip and have fun and, and create my art we want to create art at the audition and the only way you can create art as an actor is if you're having fun now you may so you may so also you may so also be experiencing profound doubt and massive insecurity while aiming to have the fun even while having the fun that's gonna happen i know it may seem paradoxical but it's the truth and so if we want to get away from trying to get it right we want to, I believe, as actors, with our auditions, do things that our imaginations can buy into. And doing things for our own good pleasure. Meaning, what is our muse? What is our soul? What does our gut want to do with this part? Now, yes, if you're auditioning for Law & Order and you're playing the nervous witness who seems to be hiding something on the stand and it's Law & Order, you want to aim to have your audition be in the stakes and tone of law and order. You don't wanna just do some expressionistic, like I'm gonna do like a crazy troll character. So obviously you want it to appear like it belongs on that show and to be honest and grounded. So you need to understand the stakes and tone of the piece. You need to understand what the writer director, producer, the script's intention is. But then once you understand that, once you understand what's literally happening, then you wanna do something real, something that's fun for you. And, and this goes contrary to what most acting coaches and acting teachers will say, I believe we wanna get away from the fiction of the scene. I believe that for most actors, what makes the audition unfun, non-fun, is doing something their imagination doesn't want to do. I, I can't really imagine I'm the nervous witness who murdered somebody but is lying about it. I can't really buy into being a Klingon on a spaceship. And if I try to force myself to believe that, not for all, but I think for most actors, it gets really weird and it gets really neurotic because I don't believe I'm a Klingon. I don't believe I'm a guy who killed somebody and is lying about it, but is nervous on the stand. So I think we want to find something the imagination can buy. I think we want to find a doable action, something that I can do. Wake someone up to the truth. Convince someone that they've barking up the wrong tree. Knock a jerk down to size. Get someone to follow their dreams comfort of vulnerable loved one. These are all things that you can do in life, that we do do in life. And in the audition, we wanna do something we can actually do. We wanna look at our reader and really attempt 
to comfort them, to get them to take a big risk, to show them they're full of shit. Something real and specific. And then we can create an as if, I'm throwing a lot of stuff out here really quick, I know, but we can create an as if, something that our imagination can actually buy into that hasn't actually happened. Getting my brother to follow his dreams and start his own business. I'm getting a loved one to take a big risk. That's what I'm gonna try to get my brother to do. And I can imagine myself actually doing that to my brother and then I can go after it in that very specific way with my reader in the scene. And I happen to be saying the lines of the script and it creates this illusion of character, this illusion of story in the mind of the viewer. I believe actors don't have to believe shit. They just have to do. And we wanna do something. You wanna find something to do that's fun. You wanna have one very specific thing that you're going after. And then moment to moment, you don't know what you're gonna do next. You're just letting it rip. You're dancing, you're boxing, you're playing basketball. Having fun, having fun. We don't wanna get it right. We wanna delight. Have fun.